So in order for you to understand why this is true, let's do something else. <coughs> let's say uh, 3 fifths times 17 over 2. What would that be? Hmm? 51 tenths. No, I mean, how, how, how do you think about it, right? So now I'm, I'm forced to oh. try to partition right. that much into five equal parts. Yeah, okay. and take three of them. And take three of them, right. Mm -hmm. So think about what we did. What, so what my, my, my leader suggested was what? what? Divide, subdivide each of the segments into three equal parts. Right? What, what does, where, does three, where does the three come from? Two thirds. Two thirds. Two thirds. So then. That's what inspires the choice of three, right? Mm -hmm. But now, I'm not dividing anything into three equal parts, but what? Right. So what do you do? So you have so one half, one half, one half one seventeen of those, right? Right. right. Okay. What you are saying, what, what, all right? You follow the recipe. What you do is what? For each half, divide into five. Five equal parts. Right. Divide the five equal parts, and you go through the whole thing. Right? Mm -hmm. But that happens, so instead of 17, 17 halves, what you get is what? It, uh, what? How many? How do you count? Seven. Seven. Five. Five. 17 Ten. times Ten. 5 of? Ten. 5 times 2. Ten. 1 over 2 over 5, right? Am I too fast? There are 17 halves. But each half, I'm not divided into 5. Partition in the five equal parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so each part has five subdivisions. <coughs> Seventeen of those get that many subdivisions. Mm -hmm. We you follow right? So, the, the, right? The, so yeah. Each has now been subdivided into five equal parts. Right? So all together there's seventeen of those, so seventeen times five is the total amount total number of divisions now. Mm -hmm. But each of these, how big is each of these now? One tenth. One tenth. Right? The original is one half. You divide one half into one fifth, into fifths, therefore one tenth. Right? So that means becomes what? The same as three fifths times what? Thirteen times five. Two times five. Right? Let's follow this. Make sure you follow this. Mm -hmm. The number 1702 becomes 17 times 5, that many parts, or 1 over 2 times 5. Am I not OK? Marina, you want to ask a question? No. Mm. You sure? No. Somebody wants to ask. <laughs> <laughs> you, you follow? So I'm subdividing each half into fifths because, you, you see, you see? OK, maybe I didn't find out. Why did this work so well? Why did this work so well? Because I have six parts of fifths. I'm dividing it into three equal parts. And that is perfect because you have six marbles, I want to divide into three equal parts, each part has two marbles. So replace marbles by fifths, so you have six fifths, divide two equal, three equal parts, so each part has two fifths. So therefore you have two of them, it's four fifths. So the beauty of this is that the numerator here is a multiple of the denominator. Mm. Yeah. Get it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, so I'm actually, all right? I want this. So I want to 
The trouble with this is seven, is 17 a multiple of 5? Uh -huh. No. So couldn't we make it each other? <laughs> what did I tell you about uh, fractions? What did I tell you about fractions? <laughs> when you don't like it, you change it. Now I see how you No, this is why you see equivalent fractions. It's the most fundamental fact you have about fractions. You understand that? There's a piece of cake. That's exactly what it is. I cannot do what I want to do. So I force it. Now this is such a fundamental piece of thinking. The fact that it's never surfaced in any textbooks in school mathematics is exactly what I'm trying to tell you early first thing in the morning. I mean, but TSM is no damn good. Just just completely bankrupt. This is basic mathematical thinking. Right? I mean, look, look, how, how much more primitive can you get? I look at this. I don't like it. I have tools to make it better. I do that. Then it works. How much more fundamental you want? How, how, how much more basic can you, can, you, can you get about doing mathematics? That's something you have to learn, and then you have to teach it. Because this is exactly what mathematics is about. I see something, I want to get around the difficulty. Right? So, Malina, see, Malena, what she did is, ex without saying so, is exactly this. You are doing equivalent fractions to improve on the situation. But you have done it many times before already, right? You did it for addition, did it for comparison, what else? Did it for subtraction. So you know this line of thinking. Therefore, is that a big step to you? Everybody must learn this. Right? There's going to be no, no reason why not. So, so I want to do this. I will say three fifths times. Oh, yeah, I already wrote it down. Sorry. No. <coughs> right? Yeah. Now, this multiplication is easy to do because what? I have. 17 times 5 moles. I want to divide it into 5 equal parts, how many marbles are in each part? 17. 17. Replace marbles by 1 over 10. 1 over 2 times 5. Therefore, you divide this fraction into 5 equal parts. How big is one part? No, I mean, so 17 over. Uh, right? That's one part. You divide this fraction into five equal parts. The size of one part is correct. Seventeen of those things. Think of those as marbles. Right? So you see, that's easier to think. I have seventy times five marbles. I want to separate it, separate the marbles into five equal parts. How many are in each part? 17. 17. All right. Well, except in this case, the marble is 1 over 10. So, <coughs> 17 of those things. Good? We have three of those. Yeah, but we're not taking one, right? We're taking what? Three of them. Mm -hmm. So. So, does that relate to 51 tenths? This is better. This is much better. Not 51 over 10. Yeah, that's ultimately you want to uh -huh. give an answer, yes. But for our purpose, this is far better. Because, as I said, right, looking at this, you understand in general how it goes. It's combining the numerators, combining the denominators, and that's it. Now, this is, this is indeed, this is the most basic part of multiplication. Without this, nothing can be done. But you see, what ha what's wrong in the textbooks is that that's a formula. Yeah, it's not so you put great formula. Now what? Give your formula. No context, no meaning. So that's so people don't understand division. 
because they don't start to think about multiplication. They think it's so easy, nothing to it. Not to, right? So in general, now let's finish this quickly, right? So you know how to do this? You understand? Well, I'm a little lost on how you go. I mean, I understand that five fifths would be an equivalent form of one. Mm -hmm. So then you're basically bringing that down, but I'm a little lost on like how you would kind of explain that, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So, so you have, you understand this? Right. But why are you multiplied the 17 by five? So, so um, what do you want to do? It's okay. I don't know, I, I ask you, I want to what's the meaning it. of this? Tell me, you tell me. Well, I was just going to... No, 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 what's the meaning of this? What does it mean? What is this saying? 